Hi, this is Kara from Open Hearts Project, and we're in Berlin today with my friend Luciana Sachanes from Nix Buto, and we're going to talk about Buto dancing and her passion about it. Why I'm passionate about it? It's because somehow it's a deep way of reflecting each person's soul. I mean, the interesting thing about Buto is that usually we call it like a Japanese avant-garde dance but to be with I would say even that even though it was born in Japan it has so many aspects from the Western world it's such a mashup between different elements and it's so related to what the person brings on stage or on their dance that I wouldn't say it's Japanese it's the translation of the person's soul. Even in Japan, they had to change the name. I mean, Buyo in Japanese means dance. But even when it was born, the dance community in Japan didn't allow um, the Buto dancers to call themselves as Buyo dancers. Mainly because, for example, and this is an example, my teacher in Japan, Yoshito Ono, uh, usually brings that dance would be like following a certain pattern, for example, uh, ballet dance or even contemporary dance, some sort of pattern of movements. But the sense of Buto is, let's break. We, we shouldn't be following. If we have some aspects, moments, choreography or whatever we want to call it, which should follow certain patterns, we will. But it's not the aim. That beauty, that perfection is not the aim. The soul is the aim, translating the soul. Let's imagine Japan after the nuclear bomb, first with such destruction and also as such a conservative society, Tatsumi Hijikata started revolting the bodies. His movement was like, let's protest with the body. At the same time, Kazuono, who had just come from war, started dancing by himself. And even that, Kazuono's son, Yoshitono, was already taking lessons and dancing together with Hichikata, he sort of linked them together. And that was how the Buto movement was born. Because we don't see the Buto technique as like a dance technique, like classical dance, which we should like have these steps. In my opinion, technique has more to do with the, the way we, we unfold our souls, reveal our souls. And technique has to do with having those elements. First, getting to know who we are, what we have brought, what our body is like and then knowing how to reflect that on stage so it's like revealing hidden truths and it's the same thing that Tadashi Endo, another great teacher one of uh, my teachers usually explains that um, in Japanese we have the same word for memory of the body and memory of the, of the head, of the memory we know. I mean, even though they are written differently, the sound is the same. And this is interesting because usually in Western languages we're used to uh, considering memory as something abstract and related to, to the mind, but there's so much wisdom and so much history and memory in our about ancestors is really related to Buto. Gazuono used to say that um, we walk on our relatives and our ancestors dead bodies and this is true as in a, also in a biological way I mean we know that the soil is formed by all those generations before us.
The name of my project is Nix Muto. Why have I chosen that name? Nix is the great goddess of the night. Originally, the name of Buto was Ankoku Buto. Ankoku related to the shadow, related to the part we do not want to see. In fact, some people keep calling their, their art Ankoku Buto, mainly those who, who, who follow Hijikata's line. It's a really interesting concept because this night, uh, this uh, shadow shows those things which are hidden even in the body, like parts of muscles we do not generally show or really interesting parts which are usually hidden. Even though I consider this shadow concept as a backbone of Buto, I'm really interested in searching the light which comes from that shadow. Probably because most of my teachers have been disciples of Kazuono, who had this other part willing to get into that light, to, to, to show what comes from that darkness, from that suffering. I have chosen Nix because she represents the mother of many Greek gods who are not necessarily related to that darkness, but such as the dawn, such as um, the dreams, such as many really relevant aspects of human life which are not necessarily dark or obscure. Related to that search for beauty, that I addressed before. It's interesting that in this discipline we tend to search for something beyond beauty. And that's why we, we tend to see like um, these bigger spaces or shapes of the body which are not like perfectly uh, balanced like in, in ballet. But far from trying to be something, even though it comes from grotesque, but fr far from being something that's just constructed from the outside, it actually seeks you to express what comes from the inside. And we tend to try to make that movement more interesting than just beautiful. For example, Kazuono danced until he was over 90 something years old even on his wheelchair or even when he danced or when he was younger he tended to choose for example to lower the shoulder and that was not as a means of uh, just externally showing ugliness but it was his way of making the movement more interesting and also more truthful to what he was willing to express so if we see someone dancing when they are over 90 70, even 70. That's not something we tend to see in other disciplines. And this is also related to what we were saying before about what can Buto bring to people. It's a discipline we can perform and we should perform. And this is something interesting. If you're already doing some sort of art, it goes beyond your choice. It's a part of us. And we should live with it. What do you think Buto could bring to people nowadays in order to help them to open up their hearts? I think by definition, that's the aim of Buto. It aims at helping the student or the dancer or the performer, call it as you like, First, to get to know who they are, but not in a rational, psychological way, but more into a sense, at least, to start to know their own body, the way their body moves, what they like. I, I, I love calling this like um, a 
Hi guys, thank you so much for watching today and here a little bit of talking about Luciana, what she's doing with Buto dancing. Now she's actually going around the world and actually teaching this classes here and there. So the best way to get a hold of you would be where? Nixbuto at gmail.com or on Facebook Nixbuto. Okay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. See you later guys.